believing in better is a mindset to pursue excellence in everything you do. It's welcoming opportunities to improve your farm and knowing that your best season is simply a starting point for this season. Precision planting is for farmers like you who believe in better. Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. We are in the middle of a cotton field. Cotton looks great and Keefe and I are working on some irrigation systems. We've got a dry mm -hmm. shaft coupling that is broke. We've got to fix it. Shouldn't be too much of a, of a job there. Then we've got another pivot, a uh, seven tower old valley that has quit walking about three miles down the road. We got to figure that out. So come along with us, grab you some popcorn and let's get started. And Keefe's holding the camera. And he comes to work wearing Larson farm shirt. <laughs> I'm boycotting field rows. <laughs> we can show your toolbox now that you got it organized. It is somewhat organized, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I ain't sure what I'm gonna do with these yet. Yep. Uh, that drawer is not done yet. I still gotta put my shelf in. Yeah, that'd be cool to all your uh, little impacts and all that. I have all that on the shelf mm -hmm. and then my charging stuff underneath. Oh, about to leave your funnel. We had this one, uh, didn't have a plug in it, so this center drive had zero oil in it. Oops. Yeah, I have to keep my truck lock to keep him out of it. All right, got it fixed. The other one was wobbling on the shaft, so we swapped out a new one. We were trying to pump nitrogen out on this field when it messed up. So now we're pumping nitrogen at another cotton field and uh once we get done with that one we'll bring this one back and get the nitrogen going on it so where are we going now keepy uh turner's turner's 140 acre field yep that one shut down on us for some reason yep. we don't know why Here we are, this is the Turner field we're at. And Keefe, take it away. What are you gonna check first? Well, usually the first thing you do is look down your pivot and see if you can see a tower out of line. Because nine times out of 10, if anything goes wrong, the tower's gonna get out of line and it'll break your safety circuit. Basically what your safety circuit is, is uh, this panel box is sent 110 volts down on one wire and it goes to the end and it comes back on through all the alignment not not your alignment switch but what they call the safety switch if any tower gets too far out of out of line mm -hmm. there's a switch it'll break it'll break and it'll lose that 120 volts and if you don't get 120 volts back to the panel box on this wire it will not walk all right so i'm gonna check continuity on that yep we got a tower switch it's out of alignment somewhere okay so hat wait 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 how do you know that already if one tower gets out of line it breaks the circuit so you won't have continuity it'll be mm -hmm. an open so it's reading on your meter what so should it show showing 138 ohms it's supposed to be like zero or eight ohm six ohm something like that mm -hmm. it's reading the resistance across the switch if it was good you could set it on the dive check uh -huh. and you'd hear it beep okay if it was good it'd do that when it don't do that, you got a tower switch open, safety switch open. All right, you heard it first, guys. This would be a great video to watch if you do have uh, irrigations and want to know how to troubleshoot and all that stuff. So I guess we're going to go check and uh, see what micro switch uh, we've got. Probably isn't a gearbox or drive shaft coupling like that, huh? Mm, it could be. Could be. That just mm -hmm. means that it's out of a line. Why it got out of a line is a whole nother ball of wax. No, it's tower number one. That's it right here. Tower number one, you think? Yep. How your sprinklers drops. That's right. Go and then they take a right turn. Mm hmm. Tower one. All we're going to do is hold the button until it gets back in line with tower one. Yeah. And see if we can get tower one to walk, and then we'll figure out what's wrong with it. And I had to hold it in reverse to everything. The tower one shouldn't be walking right now. Jordan's watering over at Jimbo. Yep. That means we need to be watering. 
If your neighbor is watering, you better kick it in gear and get your pivot rolling. Yep, when our neighbor's watering. Behind the eight ball. Well, we would have had it rolling, but uh. Dag, I'm sorry, irrigation man. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Hey, we got a bird nest. Oh, no way, look. Maybe that's some of the problem? Here's the problem. Yeah. We'll take that to the girls. I thought we put all new tower box covers on this thing. Oh, we obviously missed one. Look at that. Yeah, that's the problem right there. That's why the switch is out of line. Nope, oh, they already got a hole in them. Oh, they ain't no good. Nope, oh, they're dry. Well, that might be why our switches is out of adjustment, Jim. Can you see that? What? You can't even see the marker switches. I'm gonna give you one job. What's that? Do not lose that, Alan. All right. All right, that looks a lot better there. You know, let's see how close that is to tripping. Yeah. This is your safety. That's when it stops. So if it, and this is not sitting down. See, this normally should be in the middle of that groove right there. Mm -hmm. And if it gets out of that groove, that means it's out of line. And when this breaks, it pivot don't go nowhere. Little Allen screws right here. Well, these uh, hold up, hold up. Tell them, you, you told me I had one job. Yeah. And that was to not drop the Allen wrench and I didn't I didn't drop it no. I gave it to you and then what did you just do I dropped it you, you, should, dropped it. you shouldn't have let me have it yeah, yeah. so it's it's down there somewhere I gotta find that somewhere and it's it's very small that it's gonna Allen, be about like finding a needle in a haystack that Allen wrench don't even stay in the toolbox dude that one stays in the ashtray you know I knew better than to let you hold it I said he's probably gonna drop it you might as well give up you ain't gonna mind yeah, it I shouldn't have handed it to me Jim I told you to keep up with it What the heck? Oh, 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 oh. Are you serious? God almighty, look at there. <laughs> you got lucky. You ain't lying, I got lucky. You going about that all wrong. Oh, man. I like the way you did it first time. American Ninja Warrior. I'm, I'm filming me, dude. Tie my shoes. I need to be filming you. Don't film me. Yeah, you need to go around. Don't, don't try to jump across. No, this is going to be easy. Watch this. Jim, remember what happened to Jeff? I'm way more... See, you just... Boop. Look at that. So mighty. American Ninja Warrior. Wait, wait a what, minute. What happened right here, Keegan? Uh, Jim planted this field. Oh, snap. You're right. I did. <laughs> Move along. Move along. Yeah. Hey, I do see uh, that's the first. Yep. That I, no. Cotton? I actually got some bottom bowls popping look, open. Look at there. I don't think I've seen any pop open yet. Look at that gap. Yeah. That's just money wasted. Mm. I know where a bunch more are, but I ain't going to say nothing. Say it. Nope. Say it. Oh no. Oh, we're rolling. Well, hey everybody. Here we are, bush hogging. Just getting everything smoothed up, you know, corporate, corporate all that done. It's a little wet right there. Jim got the pivot going. Nitrogen don't make it no better. So good. Looking good. So Keefe is on top of uh, tower number one. Gonna have to adjust the micro switches. So we've got our handy Midland walkie talkies. Thanks for the hookup Midland. These are the X Talkers T71s. So we can communicate back and forth. He's gonna let me know. I'm gonna try to walk it and then see if that works. If not, stop it. He'll adjust it some more and then we'll uh, go from there. Well, it's not gonna be that simple. Keefe just radioed and that switch is toast, so. You want to do anything? Switch is locked. I can't turn it. Hole's full of dirt and then it's rusted. I can't turn it. Figured I'd get it in a minute. That's right. See right here? See that little screw right there? 
Oh yeah, yeah. See that screw, you put this in there and then you can adjust it. Adjust how quick or mm -hmm. whatever, and then it can't be able to do that. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Spit on it. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I ain't got no spray out here, man. We're in the middle of a cotton field. Watch what spit does, though. My spit's Look at that. Look man. at that. Like butter. Man, you need to patent that stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, it's good stuff. Bam. We got it lined up. It is straight as an arrow. So hopefully that fixed the problem, the bear, bird nest, bird, bird, bird nest. We got it back going, so she is slinging out the water. This whale pumps around 900 gallons per minute, so we're putting out a half an inch of water, and uh, hopefully we'll luck up, get a rain's clouding up, so that'll ease things up a little bit. But take a look at this. Won't be long, we'll be needing to trim some limbs, because uh, getting closer and closer, never ending around your field. You don't want to leave that unattended for long, because you'll come up to the field and the end gun will just be on the ground or worse your whole pivot will be on the ground as for now don't leave yet and hey if you haven't done already subscribe to this channel and like the video a lot of times i get that backwards and i say subscribe to the video and like the channel <laughs> All right, here we are at what we call the Truman Pivot, which is about 33 acres, really only about maybe 27 that's irrigated. So it's the smallest pivot we got on the farm. And unlike the irrigation system that we just came from, this one is powered by electricity. So you don't have to worry about uh, diesel fuel, batteries, injectors clogging up, all that stuff. Um, just press the button like you saw earlier and somehow provides the power and boom, starts the well and all that good stuff. So. Simple, simple, until it gets struck by lightning or something bad happens, and then it's, it's another headache. And the water should come on. Ah, darn it. Mistimed that one quite a bit. So much for a cool shot, but you guys get the point. In gun's kicking. She's watering good, so I guess we'll head to the barn, see what else we can get into. What's up, guys? Well, there's something I really want to show y'all. I want to show y'all all my glory. Y'all just get ready. One, two, three, go. Ha, all my morning glories. Yeah, look at that. It's a, it's a morning glory. There show is a bunch right here. So we're gonna take some 2,4 DB. And we're gonna take care of that guy right there. And the shaker, plow, peanut plow, peanut digger. Everybody's got their own term for it. Comes through here. These morning glories can really give it a fit. Well, you may be wondering to yourself. So you may be wondering what happened right there. Oh. Ain't got words to say. I don't know what's going on. Back when I sprayed the 2,4-DB cadre and crossfire, it looks like that spot didn't get sprayed, and it was probably due to I uh, probably run out in that general vicinity. So when I come back, I didn't get a good overlay. Didn't get a good overlap, and it got missed. I mean, it happens. It got missed. Human error. But I promise you, it didn't get missed that time. A whole lot of peanut butter right there. Huh, we're still recording. I had no clue. All right. For real, though, this time, I'm out. Ah, right, y'all. Keefe's corner time. Hey, is it red's positive or is it black? Keefe's corner. We should ask Keith Feast Corner. All right, any of y'all that's got John Deere's out there uh, probably have either had this problem or will have this problem. But I'm gonna show you how to fix it real quick. Nothing to it. If you get in your tractor and you turn your PTO on, that's your PTO. If 
you turn that on and it runs for about five to ten seconds and then stops cuts off by itself um, 90% of the time ain't nothing wrong switches are good sensors are good and this that and other but just about every John Deere I've ever worked on is the same way from the little ones to the big ones underneath there under that transmission down there is a sensor or switch whatever you want to call it that monitors it's like a little tack that monitors a pulse from that uh, PTO output and if the computer doesn't see a sensor or a reading from that output so it knows what the RPM of that PTO shaft is it will only let it run for just a few seconds it verifies it doesn't have a signal and then it cuts off well, what happens especially if you grow corn or anything tall uh, cotton's one of them you run that tractor in that field and their stalks three foot high they're grabbing wires underneath the tractor and snatching them and pulling them loose and this that and other this right here is the plug that goes into the tax and sits from the PTO and you can see I've got some heat shrink on here and I've got two new wire butts on here so what I'll have to do is I'll have to get under there um, and connect these two to the wires coming from the tractor from the computer slide the heat shrink down heat shrink them up and then tie them up hopefully where they won't get snatched again I think I didn't replace the wires in this plug one time they're red I don't I don't think that's a John Deere color so I think it may be one time snatched the wires I'd plug and I may have already put the wire, new wires in the plug, but anyhow, got two sets of wires. All right, one set only has two, two wires, okay? The other set has three. All right, the one with the three wires goes to your hydraulic sensor. The one with the two should go to your P PTO tack. I'm going to get the ends of them, snip the ends off, to make sure I can see me. Let's see here, what y'all see. So I see my head, though, I see my hands. How we're done. PTO on and uh, see if she stays on. Like I say, with that particular sending unit, the wires get damaged or whatever, your PTO only run five to ten seconds and cut off on its own. Well, as you can see now, she's running. Getting a little short on memory, y'all, so I got to uh, get off of here. But that is y'all's Keefe's Corner for this video. I know I hadn't done one in a while, but y'all remember that about your PTO. And if you're out there doing hay or whatever you're doing, that PTO won't stay engaged on one of these newer tractors. Get down there and check your wires. And if you, if you're going to tie it, you can always just twist them back together and put some duct tape on them, you know. Whatever it takes to get you going, maybe that'll help somebody out. I'm sure there's a lot of y'all that probably already been through all this here, but I'm uh, hoping that there's somebody out there that hadn't, and maybe that'll save y'all some time and some aggravation. Until next time, y'all be good.